welcome everyone. Game five here today. Mike Elliott here with my high button sports. We got some U13A action championship. The day of champions here with Hockey Nova Scotia. The last game of the day for day one. Glace Bay Miners taking on the Tassa Ducks. Listen to our good friend Wade Wild down in the timekeeper's box announcing the goalies for this affair. A battle of the number ones. As we got Luke Boulair for the Ducks and 200 feet across from him, Landon McLeod, number one as well for the Miners. And the teams get to center ice. We'll get ready to go. Crowd here is ready. Got a good sized crowd as well as we head for all the games here so far. And we are on their way. U13 A championship game. Puck kind of bounces around here. They say it was deflected in, so no icing. The Ducks trying to clear. Picked off by the Miners. Maybe a chance here in close. Trying to get onto the backhand. Still poking around and coming right in on to Bootlayer. And with that, he's going to jump on, cover up, make the save. We'll get a quick whistle. Just 23 seconds now here into the first period. A little feeling out phase here between the two early. Face off, controlled by the Miners. Back at the blue line, little partner to partner pass. Up top, trying to go down low. That goes off escape, picked off by the Ducks, and they clear it up towards center. Picked off down by McPhee. McPhee looking for some room. He breaks wide. He's in up over the zone. A nice little poke check there by the defender of the Ducks. They're back the other way. Outlet pass. Trying to corral it as he gets it over onto his forehand, but he can't quite get the shot off. Eulen that was. Now up top, Rutledge walking the line. Going to dump that deep into the corner. Eulen looking for it behind the net. Gets taken down. Picked up by the Miners. They try to clear. Fires the blue line by Nato. Going to poke that ahead with number 19. Again onto blue line. The Ducks keeping them pinned in here, but now a chance for the Miners. Going to skate the puck out himself. Hits the red line, dumps it in deep, looking for a change. Ducks down in the far corner here now underneath us. Trying to pick it loose. Picked up by Smith. Trying to start to break out in that far wing. Miners put it right back. Smith picks it up again. Hard along the wall. This one does take a duck bounce. And up towards center inside their own zone now. Miners chip it up at center. Burke for the Ducks trying to find it in his skates. Had Reed all over him. They're both trying to find it. They kick it around here down below us. Now Reed for the Miners. He's trying to find some room. Little move on the short side here. Trying to drag his way through but can't quite get by the final defender. The Ducks high off the glass, fires the blue line, but not out. Kept in at the blue line by Graham, who rims it around. Tass along the wall now, backhand pass. Trying to chip up through center. Trying to, can't quite get the corral on it. Was Hammond, and the Miner is able to get it in deep. Ducks right there, they send him back the other way. Here comes the Duck captain, up over center. Looking to break wide as well. And the defender's doing a good job not giving any of these players any time and space as they come over the zone. In behind the net now. They bang away at it to the corner. Both players digging hard now, looking for some help. Pokes loose, right back in the scrum. Reverses it now the other way. Trying to dig it out. Sinclair back behind the net. That's picked off by the Ducks. Maybe looking to come out front, trying to get a handle. It's still poking away. There it is. But can't quite get the shot off in front of the net. Little backhand pass over front. This one's picked off by the Miners, and they're out the other way. Off Joseph's stick as he pokes it ahead. The other way. The Ducks are looking for a change as they dump it in deep. Getting this first touch there. Was McLeod. Here comes the Miners. Get his far center, but that's it. Second chance here now for McPhee. McPhee with a long wrister. That misses on the short side. Udlin trying to get it out. They poke away at it. Miners keep it in. It's in the feet. Going to go back up top. 
Looking for a shot, and there's a hard wrister, and that didn't miss by much in that far side. Now maybe a wraparound chance to sit in the blue paint, but able to clear that one, one tire from the point. That's deflected, and that misses as well on the short side. Off that action here in front of the Tassa goaltender. Another one at the blue line. That shot doesn't quite get through. Along the boards now, takes a bounce. McPhee blocking that clear attempt. Still looking for it. Now it's shot, but didn't quite get on much on. And the backhand tip, that goes off the post. Throwing a backhand towards the front of the net was Walker. And now the Miners gonna have to get back on side as the puck gets in deep. Tassa trying to start to break out. Hits off a skate. They still poke away and it's in the feet now. Miners doing a good job to keep them pinned in. Looking to go back out front, a little give and go, it's off a skate. And it comes right in on the task of goaltender, Bootlair, who's able to find it in the blue paint, cover it up, make the save. 4.28 gone here in the first period, 0-0 hockey game. Still early on, shots on goal, 3-1 in favor of the Miners. On the face off to the half wall. Miners back up top, Sinclair looking towards the front of the net. And he's able to see that all the way through. Boulair gets a paddle on it, puts it to the far wall. Ducks trying to clear. High off the glass. Takes a funny bounce off the sanctions there. Ducks have it again. Over the blue line. Trying to get through. Can't get by the defender. It's picked up in the corner. Turns it back the other way. Trying to chip it ahead with McNeil. And does. Able to get up to Walker. Now that that's Smith. He left a shot. And it's in the back of the net. He had a little look there again. Number eight, Surrett. Going all the way in there on that far side, ripping a shot. Bootlayer got a piece of it, but couldn't get enough as it went off the arm, lands in the back of the net. And just like that, early here in the first period, almost at the five minute mark, we got a one nothing hockey game. Bring it back to center. Up along the wall. Poke it ahead. The Ducks able to put it inside the zone. Wait for the official goal announcement from Wade. Right now, Miners striking first. And here comes the Miners again. Here comes Surrett again. Right down through center. There's a shot on net. This time, Boulay is able to get a piece of it and loose on the side net momentarily. Taking no chance. He's going to cover that up. So, Surrett with the goal. McNeil with the assist. We get the woo from Wade. Face off now coming to the left of Boulay. Draw comes to the half wall. Here comes the Ducks. Can't get by the blue line, though. Back the other way. The Miners, they're stepping up for a wrister, and there's another shot. And taking no chances. And they're almost trying to go under the iron blocker side. But Blue Lair able to make the save, cover up. We'll redo that face off. 9.19 to go here, first period. Back on the draw. The linesman didn't like how the wingers on the outside were lined up. I'm trying to push them back over. They're creeping in the circle. I'll redo that draw again. Faceoff comes back to the corner. Canning is able to clear it up through center. A little bit of a puck race back into the minor zone. Able to retrieve it versus the Myers defender. Spinning and turning was Ferguson. Puck comes to the blue line, but not open right back in. This Ferguson again with it. In front of his own net, gotta be careful. He's able to put it back in behind, reverses it. Crooks. He sends the puck up ice. Referee's arms up down below us, and icing is gonna be the call. At this level here, 13. They are allowed to change on the icings. So both teams getting some fresh legs out there as the faceoff comes back to the minor zone. Lining up on the draw was McPhee and keeping. The Miners control. Here's Scott with it, trying to get outside the line. He gets turned back. A second chance, does get outside. Maybe a chance for a mini two-on-one. Scott trying to get free, and a good defense there by number 20, Smith. But there's a chance, right in the slot, rebounds loose, and able to clear was the Ducks. But losing the edge of Smith, but from his backside, able to make that play, and they move the puck up through center. 
Graham. They able to dump it in deep. Ducks retrieving in the corner. Reverse it back the other way, looking far side. Can't quite pick up the pass. Kept in at the blue line, shot towards the front of the net. That's deflected here to the corner. The 19 for the Ducks. Trying to work it out, keeping. Able to finish the job to get it out. Maybe a chance here as Anderson knows it was able to pick that puck off Walker. And now McLean back in his own zone. Maybe a chance to catch the Ducks on a change. They move it up to Scott. He's able to chip it inside the line. Scott's still looking for it. Ducks able to grab it at center. And they battle for it here in front of the penalty box area. McNair looking for it. There's Soret again at center trying to find the puck. But the Ducks able to put it back into the zone. Reed. He brings the puck outside. He's over the red line now. He's looking to dump it in. He's going to put it right in on the boot layer. And he looks up and sees a few white jerseys on top of him. He likes to cover up, make the save. 7.18 to go here in the first period. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Been some great hockey here day one in the Day of Champions with Hockey Nova Scotia. Game number five for today. We're back in action tomorrow with four more games. Fun weekend up here in Truro. Hope we're having as much fun as we are up here, as that shot from the blue line doesn't make it through, rebound is able to get cleared to the corner. Along the boards. Ducks to the blue line, but not out. Kept in, put right back in towards the front of the net. That's picked off by Amrat. He goes off the wall. And there's the Miners again, to put it right back in the corner. Our map putting the brakes on. Back the other way. Looking for you. You didn't along that far wall. Captain at the blue line. It's a shot that goes wide. Looking for the old tip screen or rebound out front. Poke away Anna Sinclair trying to hold the line. And the Ducks are able to clear. Last player back was able to make a nice pass up front. Trying to make a move now is McNeil. But he's looking for a change, so he dumps it in deep. Puck comes to the corner. Fresh legs off the bench, looking for it now. In behind the net. Reed looking to come out front, trying to get a chance, trying to get, oh, he couldn't quite get the handle. It was all by himself as Perry out front, but couldn't get, release the shot. Perry again now looking for it in the corner. That's picked off by the Ducks. They send a pass up through center. I don't think this one's gonna make it far enough for icing. And icing is waved off. Minus along the wall, looking up ice. Lost the handle for momentarily and then throws into the referee. Maybe a lucky break for the Ducks as they're able to keep that in. Now in behind the net to the corner. Trying to come out front with it. There's a pass. Well, that's broken up and back the other way come the Miners. Hannon dumps it in deep. Picked up by Canning. Canning goes far side up off the wall. Chipped up towards center. They still kind of bang away at it here in the neutral zone. Miners elect to go back in their own zone. Trying to reset. McLean. Pass a little bit too far for his D partner. That's picked off. Number 19 for the Ducks. In behind the net. Looking out front. See the pass. Throws a shot. And looking over his shoulder by keeping the puck out. Is big number one for the Miners. Seen his first real test of this hockey game. They're able to make the save. Cover up. 5.09 left here, first period. Shots on goal, 6-2 in favor of the Miners, and they lead by one. On the draw, Miners control in behind the net. Sinclair reverses it back the other way. Along the wall. Walker tried to clear the zone. Pass is able to keep that in. Back in behind the net, Sinclair battles hard behind the net. Back in the corner now. Trying to go over front. There's a chance on that short side, but that goes off the outside of the net. Looking to hold the line now is Smith. Back in deep. Picked up by Hammond trying to go over front. And he's still whacking away at it from that side of the net. It's still loose. Goes back up top. Having a look. Burke tried to go back over front. Couldn't quite connect with the pass. Down low now. The Ducks try to go back over front. That's picked off by the Miners. Here comes Scott. He's up over center. That's going to be close to offside. And as the whistle goes, it is. As most calls we get right up here in the booth. Offside is the call. 4.17 to go first period. 
We'll bring that face off right below us here in front of the Tassa Duck bench. Great game here so far. Pretty well going both ways, but the Miners have the lead. And here they are with the puck at center. Little drop pass back to Ferguson to try to go up with it. That's picked off by the Ducks. Over the blue line, there's a long wrister. And a whole bouncing puck that Lennon had to be careful with it. It came right on top of him. But the Miners able to pick it up. Now they're going to clear the zone. There's Surrett. Surrett trying to get wide. Gets taken to the corner. As Rutledge and Surrett had a big battle there. Still looking for it. Place Bay able to pick it up. Reed. Trying to make something happen. He circles back in the corner. He's looking out front. Sees Surrett. And he can't quite pull the trigger. Puck's still loose. And the Ducks able to pick it up. Here comes two of them back the other way. A little pass out through the middle. And then trying to do a drop pass, but a little bit too far behind. Now Reed trying to move the puck up. Sees McNeil. McNeil trying to make a move. It's all by himself down there. Couldn't get by the Ducks defenders. And they're back the other way. Perry fresh off the bench looking for it. Nobody seems to be able to corral it, and they able to backhand it back in deep. In the corner now, spinning away from a check. McLean, McLean goes back the other way with it. They rim it around, as far as the blue line, but not out. As Malloy able to keep that in. In the corner. The Miners, thrown around the other side. Canning holds in line. They poke away at it, still looking for it. Perry gets forced back to the corner. There's the Ducks, in behind the net, trying to bring it out front, looking for a backhand, can't quite get the shot off. Now it's gonna be picked up by McKinnon, but can't clear the zone. As somehow, it's stuck in this skate. As we look down, and right in the holder of the, the Duck player, they're gonna try to get it out of his skate there. Right in the hole, you can see him poking away at it. Not too often you see that one. Well, they're able to get it loose. 2.30 to go here, first period. As uh, both teams get a little chuckle there as uh, it gets stuck in the equipment of the Duck player. They poke away at it now. Picked up by the Miners in their own zone. Sinclair looking for some room. Brings it up to the center, looking to dump it in deep. Back to retrieve it behind their own net for the Tassa. Looking up ice now, trying to find somebody open. Can't find anybody, carries it out of themselves. But gets as far as center, and that's picked off by McPhee. McPhee looks up ice. There's a pass on the tape to Scott. Scott trying to put a little dangle on the move, can't get through, and then rips a shot and misses on the short side. Comes to the corner. Ducks able to retrieve it to the blue line. Bouncing puck kept in by Crooks. Here comes Smith. Smith hired off the boards to the blue line, but now to Sinclair keeps it in, throws a shot towards the net. That's paddled to the corner by Bootler. <coughs> the Ducks up at center now, gain the red line. Not much room on that far side, but able to get the puck in deep. Back to the blue line now, looking towards the net. Not much room there. Goes over here to Joseph, who's chipping in, puts it in behind the net. Hammond couldn't quite retrieve it. It's picked up by the Miners. Long stretch pass here to Scott. A little bit too far behind him. Tass has a retreat back in their own zone. Armet couldn't quite connect with the pass on that one there. That goes all the way down the length of the ice. Icing will be the call. We'll bring that back into the Tassa zone. 106 to go first period. one nothing for the Miners. Clean affair here so far. We haven't seen any penalties as of yet. Lots of hockey left to be played here. The face off to the wall. Looking for some room is Ferguson. Alexa dumping in deep, rims it around the back of the net. Last minute play here in the first period. The Ducks trying to clear. Can't. Picked off by McNeil. Threw an easy shot towards the net and misses on the short side. And the pass player kind of lost an edge there as that breakout pass was coming. It was kept in by the Miners. Second chance for the Ducks. This time they're able to clear the zone. Looking across, ice there, nice pass. Over the line, Udlin looking for a shot. Put the move on. Can't quite bring the puck with him. Rutledge throws a pass out front, bouncing puck. Comes to the corner. Boudot looking for it. 
Can't quite find it, but the Miners do. Offer a little skate now. Here comes Reed. Reed down below us, looking for a lane on that short side. Reed still with it. Throw the shot up front and flashing the leather as Bootlayer. As he tried to go back cross body, but Bootlayer, with some good positioning, flashes the glove, makes the save. 8.8 .8 up on the clock. Face off will stay deep in the Tassa zone. And the Lions didn't like how they're lined up. There's a warning again to the wingers on the outside to push back, both of them. So we'll redrop that puck. Miners able to control. Back to the blue line. Ferguson trying to hold it, throws a shot towards the net. That goes off the outside of the net as time ticks down here. That should pretty well do it for the first period as the horn goes. And a little extra curricular activity after the whistle a little bit, but nothing comes from that. One nothing after one. The shots on goal seven to four in favor of the Miners. And they have the lead. We're going to take a quick break here for the first intermission. We'll be back in about 30 seconds for what should be an exciting second period. Be back in a minute. And just like that, quick break. We are back now. Second period action. Just get ready to get on the way. U13A Championship Provincials. We got a one nothing hockey game as they drop the puck. The puck comes all the way back into the Tassa zone. And high and hard off the glass. Like a funny bounce. Almost came right back over front. And it did land on a, a stick of the Miners player, but missed a shot. And there's a chance there. That's a funny bounce off the back. Came right out back over front. And Bootler can't believe it. But saying thank you is number five, McDonald, as sitting there all by itself on the back side, able to put the puck in the empty net. 16 seconds here into the second period, and just like that, it's two to nothing. Back at center. A little bit of a scramble draw gets put into the minor zone. I'm trying to find it. Put it back in deep. Miners rimming around. Trying to clear the zone, they do. Now they're up here at center. Surrett trying to find some room. Surrett on that short side. Surrett strips the shot, rebounds loose, and passes it around, looking for it. And still bounces around as Boulair dove over to make sure there's no room on that far side. The Ducks able to clear the zone. Crooks moves over to Ferguson, who dumps it in deep. Not deep enough as the Ducks able to put it right back. But here, trying again, here comes Ferguson trying to get over that blue line. Ferguson with that one hand trying to bring the puck in. Boulair's got to play it. He throws it to the wall, bouncing puck. Alexander looking for it. Now it's Malloy. Malloy back in the corner. Goes back the other way, looking for Canning. Canning has a look up top. Try to flick one off the board, didn't get much on it. Picked up by the Miners, trying to bull his way through, but nowhere to go. And now the Ducks clear it up through center. Bouncing puck, though. Going to come all the way back. Got to be careful right in front of his own goaltender. Off the boards. Rutledge able to keep that in. Back to the blue line. Joseph takes a shot, deflected, but does go wide. Behind the net. Trying to find it. 
Still battle on the boards. Now it's picked up by McPhee. McPhee tries to go back over front. That's in the body of the Ducks player. Now with the pass picked off right at center, but then getting it back. And able to make a move up through the central zone now. Trying to break in wide. Couldn't get by the last defender as Joseph got in the way. Joseph looking for it behind the net. There's a the pass over front. Comes all the way back to Moreland. There's a one-timer. That's blocked in front. Doesn't get through. They're looking for it. And the Ducks able to find it back the other way. Trying to put a little move on. A little dangle on the backhand. Backhand pass over front. That goes off a skate. Picked up behind the net. Miners trying to move it. Ducks looking to hold it in at the line. Burke gets it in but lands on a minor stick. He chips it ahead. Going to be a little bit too far, but not far enough for icing. Smith back in their own zone now. Looks up ice. Trying to find somebody open. Sees Rutledge at center. Can't quite connect with the pass. It's chipped up ahead now in the feet of Hannon. And now Scott trying to find it. Ducks do, though. Over the blue line. Rutledge trying to get a move on. Rutledge trying to get a shot. Didn't get much on it. The Miners clear to the blue line. Dumped right back in the corner. Now it's picked up, and the referee's arms up. There's going to be a penalty in behind the play. It's got to go against the Ducks as the Miners bring the puck inside the zone. The goalie's out, and the extra attacker's out right now for Glace Bay. But as Tassa touches the puck, we'll see what the call's going to be. We got an interference call. It's going to go to number 11, Ethan Uden. So 11.34 left here in the second period. Get our first power play of the game. And it's going to go against the Ducks. And the Miners will be on the power play looking to add to their lead. Face off will come down here to the left of Boulair. The Miners control. It's in the feet though. Ferguson is able to find it. Chips it up ahead, gives the chase himself. Now he's in the corner. Ferguson on the backhand pass over front. Can't quite connect. Now Reed looking for it. He's able to find it. He does a pass right off the side of the net to himself. And put the puck around the far side. There's McPhee. Back up top. McPhee gets it back. Looking for some room now. McPhee spins away. Cross ice. Ferguson. Spins away from a check as Keeping lost his stick. Now Reed trying to come to the corner. Reed below the goal line, trying to set something up. The Ducks keeping the Miners on the outside here. Now McPhee maybe with a little bit of room. McPhee steps up, he rips the shot. And that misses on the short side, comes all the way back to the blue line. Ferguson trying to hold it. But the Ducks are able to retrieve it and send that right down the length of the ice. McLeod go to play it. Slap pass up front. And then Surrett trying to get in behind the play. Surrett lines up for a wrister, but didn't get much on it. But as it comes right out front, Boulayers down. They look away and trying to find a rebound. And now getting taken out. And all kinds of pushing and shoving in front of the net. I believe Tass is going to get another call. As clearing the scrum in front of the net was number six. Armat is heading to the box. Cross-checking is the call. So we're going to have a five-on-three power play for 50 seconds. Miners with a golden opportunity now to add to their lead. 10-24 left second period. On the draw. Controlled by the Miners. They go right back up top with it. Looking for a pass in front. And the shot that Bootlayer was able to retrieve, make the save. Miners try to go back and behind the net. Picked up by Surrett to McPhee. Back up top. Ferguson now trying to shot on net. It's out front. They bang away. Everybody's trying to find it. And Surrett with a shot, but getting a blocker on that was Boulair. 15 seconds ago now, five on three. Graham. Ferguson looking towards that, rips the shot, but there's the glove of Boulair as he had a quick little look as he kind of lost the handle, but the whistle had gone. 
as he made the first save. As you look behind him there, but as well after the whistle as it went into the net. Eight seconds to go here. And then there'll still be a minute 10 on the power play. As they wait for Boulay to get a quick little drink. He's seen a lot of rubber here so far. Shots 14 to five in favor of the Miners. Comes back up top, Ferguson. Over to Graham, looking towards that. There's that wrist here, there's a blocker save. Able to get that right to the corner of Boulair. Then the backhand attempt as the first penalty's over. So we got five on four now. Still for another minute as the puck's pinned in the corner. Ducks trying to come up with it, they do. In behind the net now, still trying to kick it forward. Now it's picked up by Threat. Threat in behind the net. Goes all the way back up top for Graham. Puts it right back in deep. Threat in the corner. Along the boards, chipped up ahead. Graham going to try to keep that in. But this one lands right on the stick of a Duck player. And they put it right back into the zone. Trying to find his McNair, though. He's in there for checking shorthanded. Battles with Ferguson in the corner. Ferguson looking for it. Trying to get some help now. McPhee steps in. McPhee, long cross ice pass. Picked up by Scott. Scott with the little toe drag. Scott trying to get the shot off. But couldn't quite get the release going as he made the first dangle. Sinclair now look for it in the corner. 15 seconds to go in the power play. Sinclair from the blue line with a shot in front. Gets knocked down, doesn't make it through. Chance for the Ducks here. And they send that down the length of the ice. Cloud going to be out to play it. Rutledge looking for it now as the penalized player steps back on the ice. The Ducks are able to kill everything off. We're back to five on five. And the Ducks in the zone now. Trying to come off the boards. Rutledge looking for it. Sinclair. Able to pick the puck up in the corner, in behind the net. Loses the handle, but gets it back, throws it off the wall. Malloy keeps it at the blue line, throws a backhand to the corner. Trying to go a pass back up top, but that hits his skate, and the Miners are able to clear the zone. Malloy back at his own blue line. Looking for some room, maybe to make a little play first. And then can't get by the defender, a good active stick, but Malloy still looking for it. Now Sinclair in the corner. Sinclair looking up ice. Gets picked off. Keeping with it. Keeping with trying for the wraparound. It's loose and the Bucks down. And the referee loses sight, but what a save in tight. As the wraparound attempt, first save was made, then the puck was sitting in the blue paint. And the Ducks trying to whack away at it, but can't put it home. As McLeod able to make the save, cover up, get a whistle. 7.33 to go now, second period. In on the draw. Linesman get them all straightened up. Glace Bay with it in the corner. Hard along the boards and does get by the defender at the blue line. That's gonna come all the way back to the duck zone. Coming back to retrieve it is that Matt. He goes off the boards, chips it ahead, able to clear the zone. Picked up by Perry though. Perry tried to backhand pass across through center. That's sent back the other way by Keeping. Keeping's in there looking for the four check. Now the puck's touched up. McKinnon leaves it for Graham, who's able to dump it in deep. In behind the net now, looking for it. Trying to find it. Number 19 for the Ducks, looking to bring the puck up ice. Didn't like what he, they see there. Spinning away from a check. Along the boards now. It's chipped ahead. But that one's gonna go a little bit too far as on the wrong side of the, blue, of the center line was the duck player that goes all the way down the length of the ice. And we're gonna get a goaltending change. As it looks like the task of goaltenders are gonna do half a game each. So number 35 is gonna come in the net as for the ducks now. And then Henry Servigo, and I apologize on the pronunciation if I'm making a mistake, but in between the pipes for Tass now, number 35. As we're pretty well at the halfway mark here in this hockey game. Reed with it, looking to get a test on the new goaltender. But the Ducks are able to clear the zone. Dumped right back in deep. That one's gonna go around. Smith looking for it in the corner, as well as McNeil. Smith McNeil still battling. Smith able to get up to his captain. McNair chips it ahead. Not gonna make it far enough for icing. Ferguson back there for the Miners. He rims it around. 
Chipping in from the blue line as a defender. Here's Tass on the backhand. Can't quite get the shot on net. Comes right back up front. This one's picked off by Surrett. Surrett going for a skate. Got some speed. Looking for some room. Makes one move. Almost made the second one. Would have been in alone. Now spinning away from a check in the corner. Trying to bring it up front. One move. There's a shot. And there's a nice save. And there's a tip up front. But making no mistake, down on one knee is McNeil. No chance for the goaltender on that one. As he made a big save. And as the rebound went to the corner, pass out front. And all by themselves was McNeil. Making no mistake, putting that puck in the back of the net. And at 5.37 left here. In the second period, it's three nothing Miners. Back at center. The Miners again, McPhee now. Grabbing that puck right off the draw, bringing it right in the zone, breaking wide. Looking on that short side, but the break's on in the corner. Looking for something to move it to. Shovel one towards the net, missed on the short side. Miners still with it. Scott now. Battles with Malloy along the boards. Rutledge and McPhee. So Reed and Surrett getting the assist markers on Junior McNeil's goal. As the puck's back in the zone again. Trying to find some room is Scott. He gets pucked, stripped. Pass the rims it around. Graham trying to keep it at the blue line. Chips it up to himself. Looking for it now in the corner. Graham giving chase. Graham behind the net, putting the brakes on. Spin turn, looking to come out front. I can't get the pass out. As Malloy, looking for it in the corner. Gets back up. Throwing his body around, looking for that puck. And him and Scott go to the corner. Graham again at the blue line, able to keep it in. Throws it towards the net. Malloy again behind the net. He's feeling the pressure. He's going to throw one high. And it takes a bounce right at the blue line, but not going to make it far enough for icing. Both teams making changes. Graham reverses it back. And here comes the Miners with the pass up through center that goes off a stick. So the Ducks are back the other way with it. They're up over the blue line, looking to make a move. Keeping, trying to make something happen. He's behind the net. Keeping, trying for another wraparound, and he pokes away at it, but nothing there. As you can see, the goaltender holding strong on his post, keeping that pad down, able to cover up as a couple players didn't like the extra wax here from keeping. 3.49 to go, second period. 3 nothing for the Miners. Shots on goal, 16-7 to seven in favor of said Miners. On the draw, controlled by Glace Bay. They rim around far side, looking to chip it ahead. They do, but the Ducks send it right back in. They got to get back on side. And here the lines from, from here, and they're still offside. They get back over the blue line now, they'll be okay. Lots of time here for the Miners to bring the puck up ice. Perry loses that center. There's keeping. He's trying to put a move on. Still looking for it. Then the help with Miners. And now it's Perry. And that one's going to be offside as that one little extra move before he gain entry to the zone. His teammates on the far side already made the jump. Offside's a call. 3.17 to go second period. We'll get a draw down there in front of the penalty box area. On that draw. Everybody battles for it along the board. They put it right back in the scrum. Tass is looking to move it up. McNeil picks that off. McNeil, he's looking for some room. Chips it over the blue line. Surrett now looking for it. Lands on McNeil's stick. McNeil, little chip and chase. And Burke trying to get there first. Burke puts it off the boards. Kept in by Ferguson. Tass with another chance. Ferguson again keeps it in. Ferguson trying to walk in this time. Looking for some room. Trying to move the puck out front, but can't get by Smith. Now it's picked up by Alexander. Gets some help from McNair. McNair finishes the job as he completes the dump in. Crooks behind his own net. Here to McNeil along the wall. McNeil trying to go back to the centerman. It hits a body. 
but he's able to chip it out. McNeil looking for some room. McNeil makes one move, trying to get to the open. Gets taken down. And everybody has a quick look at the referee, but the puck slides right in on top of the Tassa goaltender. No call on the cover made. 2.14 to go, second period. Face off will say deep in the zone. McPhee gonna line up with Rutledge. There's a, a win by the Miners. There's a shot right from the blue line. Puck's loose, but able to find it and cover up is number 35 for the Ducks. As the first shot, the save was made, but the rebound was loose. And the white jerseys were covering quite quickly on top of them. But he's able to keep the puck out, make the second save. We'll redo that face off. Puck's in behind the net now. Scott trying to free it. He tries to bring it out front. But Tass is able to pick it up. Over the blue line. Can't get too far, but they're able to dump it in deep now. And from a bad angle, trying to throw something over front was Uden. I can't quite connect with the goalie. Pass it with some puck zone here now. Trying to keep the puck in bay. There's another one as they're able to stick check Sinclair. Gets it to Crooks. Crooks moves it up to McPhee. McPhee along the wall. Gets it back. Trying to chip it up ahead. Can't get by the Ducks at center. Rutledge trying to get over the blue line. No room there, but in behind the play, we're going to get an interference call. And as McPhee looks at the ref and gives that universal palms in the air, what did I do? But interference is going to be the call. McPhee's in the box. 123 left here in the second period. A great chance now for the Ducks to try to get on the board, have a little bit of momentum to going into the third period. Now's the time. So power play opportunity for the Ducks and they control the draw. Shot from the blue line. Doesn't make it through. Chance here for the Miners. Is Hannon able to dump that in deep? Burke back for the Ducks. Got a four checker on him. Goes along the wall with it now. Trying to move it up ice. Anderson up through center. Keeping, trying to dump it in deep. That lands right on the minor stick. And they send that right down the other way. 50 seconds to go here in the second period. Battle for it. McKinnon finds it. Throws a shot on net. They make the play. Up through center. That's picked off by the Miners again. Ducks having a hard time getting started out of their own zone here now. Anderson trying something at center. He gets taken down. Keeping chips in deep. 25 seconds to go here now. As the Miners look for some open ice, they find it and they send it all the way down. Burke will have to go quick now. 15 seconds to go. Moves the puck up ice. Chipped ahead by Alexander. There's the Miners again, and that will pretty well do it here for the second period. Five seconds. Not sure if they'll make it down the, the ice here. And there's McNeil. Maybe a chance for the Miners as the horn goes, though. We check to make sure, and there he is. So after 30 minutes of play, shots on goal 19 to 7 in favor of the Miners. They lead 3 to nothing. Tassels would be on the power play for another 37 seconds. We'll get ready here for the third period. We'll take about a 10 minute break. We'll see everybody for the third.
And as the whistle goes, both teams back out here for the third period. 3-0 the score, 15 minutes up on the clock to decide the provincial champion, U13A. Tassa Glace Bay, passing a little bit of the hole. They're on the power play here for 35 seconds in this third period, trying to get on the scoreboard. And here they are over the blue line with the puck, trying to find room to move. Not much there. There's Surrett trying to clear the line, kept in at the blue line. Back the other way, and a good job there to hold it, but second effort here by Surrett, able to clear. Now trying to find some room shorthanded, spinning and turning, but can't quite get the pass over. This one's gonna come just outside the line. Five seconds to go now here in the power play. Penalized player ready to step back on the ice. Just a long stretch pass. That can't quite connect. I don't think it's gonna make it far enough for icing. It doesn't. Miner's rimming around. Rattler tried to hold the line, gets by him. Gonna come all the way back the other way. Icing's waved off as the puck rolling down in the zone. Canning for the Ducks. Looking up ice. Trying to find it. Uden over the blue line, throwing a shot towards the net. Trying to catch the goaltender off guard. But as he's done all game, able to see it, make the save, cover up. A minute five gone here, third period. Face off will stay deep in the minor zone. Reminder that tomorrow we're back in action again. We got four games starting again, 9 a.m. We'll be here for all of them. Today was a great day. All five games were some exciting action. We got more coming tomorrow as the Miners have it in the corner. They rim it around. Now Scott. Scott looking up ice, trying to clear the zone. Drops it back for McLean. McLean looking for some room. He can't get through center. Picked up by the Ducks. Maybe a chance here on that far side. Went to go back out front and couldn't quite connect with the pass. Now McPhee. McPhee. Gets taken down as he tries to get over the line. The Ducks get it to the blue line and does get out. Out of center. Puck bouncing around a little bit. Scott trying to find some room. Gets it over there to Hannon. He's trying to get through. Lands on the stick, but able to make the play as he gets taken down. A couple of chagrins there from some fans in the stands. Puck in the corner now. Pass the player goes down. Pass out front. There's a one-time. What a save out front on the one-time opportunity as McDonald gets turned at bay. Now a chance as Crooks rubs his man out. As they bang away at it, there's McDonald again, able to stop that pass and diving, trying to move it ahead. And there's gonna be a penalty and it's gonna come against the Ducks as the puck comes in front of us and the Ducks pick it up. The whistle goes, we'll see what the call is. Hooking is going to be the call. Looks like it's going to go against Joseph of the Ducks. So at 12.30 to go here in the third period. Power play opportunity. Thank you, Wade. Glace Bay on the power play. Looking to add to their lead. Tass able to control the draw though. They rim it around. To the blue line, but not, I say it was close to being out and it did. As I looked down, the whistle wasn't very loud, but it was offside. So offside's the call. Face off will come outside the zone. Alexander on the draw with McPhee. Ferguson looking to gain entry to the zone. He breaks wide, chips it to the corner. Still has it, trying to bring it back up front. Get them all spun around and lost an edge. Now looking for his read. In behind his Surrett. To McPhee, up top to Graham. Graham gonna walk the line. Wides up for a shot, and that doesn't quite make it through. McPhee now, off the half wall, looking out front. Goes over to his D partner. There's a shot, and that's blocked in front as well. I think he hit his own teammate, Reed. And a chance for the Ducks to clear, and they do. Graham now, at his own blue line. 
as two players on the far side get knocked down. Graham looking for some room. Graham with a little toe drag, can't get by the defender, and the Ducks able to clear it back out to the neutral zone. Looking for some room now is Reed. He's over the blue line. Reed, he's looking for a seam. Can't get through, spins back, gets it to Graham. Graham had to be careful as McNair was just stepping off the bench. Gets it to McPhee. McPhee trying to find it, loses the handle. Gets it back, puts it back in deep. Behind the net is Smith. Smith with some time, looking for some open ice. And is able to send that all the way down. 35 seconds to go here now in the power play. Graham trying to get back as McNair was four checking. They do chip it ahead, a little bit too far. And the Ducks gonna send that right back. Cloud out to play it, leaves it for Graham. 20 seconds to go now in the power play. McNeil, maybe one last rush here for the Miners on this power play. And McNeil gonna go for a skate. Looking to break wide, chips it ahead. Look for Hannah. He can't kick quite over the zone. It's gonna be offside. And it's kind of lost the handle just as he went over the blue line. Two seconds left on the penalty. 10.32 left here now, third period. Right off that face off, penalized player back on the, the ice as Rutledge knocks in deep. That's right out front, another chance, short side, passes around. Rebound still loose, there's a one-timer, and it's in the back of the net. Follow the bouncing puck, the Ducks do. And with 10-19 to go here in the third period, Ducks get on the board. It's one to nothing. Sorry, it's three to one. First goal for the Ducks. As you can tell, it's been a long day for us here. The fifth game, getting too excited. 3-1 now, 10-19 to go here in the third period. Number 11, Uden. Gets the Ducks on the board. We'll wait for the official call. We got ourselves a hockey game. Still lots of time left. Crooks at center. Chips it ahead inside the Ducks zone. To the corner. Getting in behind the plays. McDonald. McDonald looking to come back over front with it from behind the net. Ducks with some life here now. But they're stuck in their own zone. McKinnon looking for a shot off the wall. Can't get through. Now it's picked off by Perry. Perry steps up for a wrister. A nice little blocker save. As they knew, do the goal announcement. Yolden. So it is assisted by Rutledge as the Ducks send that puck the length of the ice. Icing is going to be the call. 9.30 to go here now in the third. Face off deep in the duck zone now. Kept in at the blue line, Graham. Looking for McNeil on the wall. Spinning and turning, trying to find it. And Smith does get there first. He gets taken down. In behind the net. Back in the corner. Pass it being pinned in here. Surratt puts it right back in deep. Smith looking to retreat. Picks it up behind his own net. Goes here to keeping along the wall. Keeping trying to start the breakout. The player gets knocked down. You see the bench of the Tassa looking for a call there. Play continues. Chipped in. Back first is Burke. Throws it back the other way. Kept in at the blue line by McNeil. Just keeping in. Now it's picked up by the Ducks. Up over the blue line. Trying to get through was Anderson. And there's the referee's arm up. And they're going to get a call, and it's going to go against the Miners, and it's a trip call. As McLean, McLean, sorry, Jonathan, is heading to the box. 8.35 to go here in the third period. Ducks in ahead in the power play, looking to cut this lead in half. Alexander on the draw with McPhee. And we get a quick whistle there. It looks like it was right back as the announcing was going on. The, glove, the puck was gloved down at the blue line by Malloy, but it looks like they didn't like how the faceoff was handled. So it was done again. Now it's picked up by McPhee. McPhee in the corner. 
It's going to go high and hard off the glass. It does just get outside the line. Malloy with it at center. Malloy chips it up. Hammond can't quite gain entry to the zone. And the Miners are there to send that back the other way. Ducks back in their own end now. Looking cross ice. Picked up at center. Looking up front. Yeah, trying to connect with McNair. Has it just go off his stick? Miners deep in their own zone now. Got a man on him now. Alexander, short side, rips the shot. And there's McLeod with a save. He's flipping around trying to get up, and they still bounces around. It's going to come all the way back to the blue line. Malloy has a look. Goes over to this far D. Looking towards Dennis Joseph, rips the shot. And that hits a leg in front. Now Alexander from the corner. He goes to the high slot. Now McNair spins and shoots and didn't miss by much on that far side. Malloy able to keep it in. McNair again trying to go back over front. Chance here for Alexander. Right at the bottom of the circle. Throws a shot on net. And McLeod again with the save. And getting lots of taps from his teammates as he covers the puck. Makes the save. 51 seconds left in the power play. 726 left here in the third period. As the faceoff will stay in deep. Get them all lined up here. Puck comes to the corner. Sinclair trying to find it. The Ducks retrieve it from the corner. Keeping behind the net. Keeping trying to go back, go front, follow the puck. It does come up front, but it can't get the shot on net. Rims around. Burke trying to get there and collides with his player. But a good job to get that down the length of the ice as McKinnon is able to get there first. 25 seconds to go here in the power play. That puck's going to be kept in by Sinclair, throwing a shot towards the net. That goes to the corner. The Ducks will have to move quick here if they want to take advantage of the rest of this power play. One last rush here, taking it right from behind their own net, looking to go for a skate. Loses the handle, can't quite catch up with it. And be careful over their linesman as that puck's dumped in deep. That's going to do it for the power play. Penalized player back on the ice or back to five on five. The Ducks trying to gain entry to the zone. They lose it just inside the line. Puck got to get cleared. Fallen down the ice, but picked up now by Scott. Scott looking to get that deep. 6.15 to go here now, third period. Burke from his own end, up along the boards. They move the puck up through center. But McPhee just coming off from the bench, able to pick that pass off. Hits Ferguson. Ferguson looking up the ice for Scott. He gets pushed back in deep. Now Ferguson, he's going to bring the puck out. Ferguson got to be careful, gets picked up by Keeping, keeping it alone, rips the shot, and the goaltender bailing out on the backhand, making no mistake. The assistant captain for the Ducks, throwing the backhand home, that's Anderson. 5.50 to go here in the third period. We got a 3-2 hockey game. Just like we started with game one, with a game going back and forth, down three nothing, coming in here to the third period. The Ducks claw on their way back. Lots of time here left on the clock. One goal hockey game, championship Saturday. What could be better? But here's the Miners, they want to regain that two goal lead. They're in the zone. Looking for some room now. Here's McPhee. He's going to bring it all the way back up top. Circles with it. Plays with it right at the line. Keeps it in. McPhee with some room. Rips the shot. Saves made. Rebound. Does get clear. And now it's Anderson's goal. Assisted by keeping. Here's Anderson again. Chips it ahead. Looking for a change. Ferguson picks that off. They move the puck up towards center. There's Smith chipping in there trying to find it. Can't quite gain entry to the zone. Does just push the puck in as they try to find it in the sea of skates there. Now it's picked off by Perry. Perry trying to get around Malloy. Tried the old toe drag, but Malloy with a good defense there to keep him at bay. Spinning and turning with it is Anderson. Or Alex Anderson, sorry. Tried that pass out through him. It was almost picked off. To the blue line again. McLean keeps it in. Alexander back in the corner. Has a little shoulder check. Looks up ice. Goes hard off the boards. Shift up towards center. Miners put him back the other way. They still look for it. Hammond able to keep it inside the blue line. 
Trying to get a backhand pass up front is a chance, and there's the old school poke check. Diving out to break that play up, it could have been a tying goal. And here comes the Miners over th back through center. Canning, last man back, able to get the backhand off the wall. Trying to find his Hammond, they can't clear the zone. Put back in deep, just over four minutes to go here now in the third. McNair looks up ice, hits Alexander. Over the red line now, Surrett just coming off the bench. Is able to intercept that play. Still looking for it now. There's Surrett trying to get around Joseph now. Surrett from the short side throws a shot on net. And now it's a paddle to the side. Reed gets taken down in the corner. Canning for the Ducks on the boards. Trying to find it. It's picked up by Surrett. Surrett lines up for the wrister and see a nice shot. And the goalie's still looking for it, but it's up over the shoulder in the back of the net. The Miners regain their two goal lead. What a shot there from Surrett. Right over the shoulder, tucking it home with 3.33 to go here in the third. Will that be the one that sends the Miners to the celebration? Only time will tell as we're ticking down here towards the end of the third. Back at center, Sinclair chips it inside the zone. The Ducks straight into the middle, it's picked off. McNeil can't quite get the shot off. Surrett, second of the game. Ducks can't clear the zone. There's one pass, can't quite connect. Not gonna make it far enough for Icey, though. Sinclair back in her own zone. Unassisted goal. And here's Surrett with it again, trying to bring it outside the zone. McNeil trying to help chip it ahead there at center. It does come back inside the zone. Here's Tassa over here to Yulin. Look for a shot on net, and there it is. But a little bit too high up over the net now to the far wall. Back to the blue line. Shot towards net. Doesn't make it through, but back in the corner. Looking for anything out front now. We'll keep an eye on the goaltender as well. Still in the net for now as McNeil looks to bring the puck out. Spins and turn, loses in the feet though. Trying to make a move, takes a bump. Leaves it for a Crooks who looks for the open wing, dumps it in. Ducks try to clear, but can't. McNeil, McPhee, sorry, who just stepped off the bench. McPhee going in alone, and that should both do it. Tucks it home, low glove side. Makes it five to two, with 2.21 to go here in the third. It was close there for a bit here in the third but good on the Miners to regain their composure, regain their lead. 5-2, 2.21 2 to go here now in the third. Puck back at center. Graham picks it up, hits the red line, dumps it in deep. Burke in the corner. Looking to spin back now. In behind the net. Starts to break out along the wall, but loses an edge. But a good second effort there to knock that back out to center. There's the Miners to knock it right back in deep. So now it's McPhee's goal. Smith battling for it in the corner. Trying to find it. Gets to the blue line, but not out. This time Smith does get it out. Chips up towards center. But there's the Miners to knock it right back the other way. Now the Ducks are able to chip it in deep. A minute and a half to go here in the third. Miners off the boards. In behind the play, we're gonna get a face off. I believe the uh, goaltender, maybe for the Ducks, left a little bit too early. Now if the, um, what happens if the goaltender leaves the net with the player on the bench? Doesn't wait for the goaltender to hit the bench. So the goaltender has to head back to the to his net. The faceoff will come at center. No penalties or anything like that. It's a little bit too eager on the bench for the Ducks. And Lions Pearson have a little conversation here now. They spin around. Now they drop the puck. So we'll keep an eye again on the goaltender for the Ducks. Can't go yet, it's a pucks here at center. Starting to creep out a little bit, but the Miners have the puck. 
Now the Tassa Ducks are trying to get it in deep, but can't get by McLean. Now Alexander up over the blue line, but there's Perry to knock it back out. Now Canning. Canning looking for some room. You can't get by the white jersey. That's slapped up into the duck zone. Last minute to play in third period. McKinnon looking for it. Up to McDonald. McDonald got nowhere to go. And we're going to get a penalty. Roughing is going to be the call. I believe it's going to go against Tassa. I believe it's going to be number 15, Hammond. So with 47 seconds to go, we'll wait for the clock to tick down now, but the Miner is going to be on the power play to finish this game. And they control the faceoff. There's a shot from the blue line. Didn't get much on it. Missed on the short side. In behind the net now. They room it around. Trying to hold the line, but not going to be able to get there is Ferguson. Going to retreat all the way back to his own blue line. Gets it to Graham. Graham looking for Surrett. Surrett already has two here tonight. Might be looking for the trick, but can't quite get by the defender. As he gets knocked into the there's a pass out front. A nice save in tight as all by himself is Reed. The Tassa goalie not giving up, able to make the save. 15 seconds left here on the clock. Reminder everybody, the clock ticks down. We'll be back tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. We'll have U13 AA as Bedford and Pictou will take play. As they count it down, there's a check right at the end. And as the horn goes, some more pushing and shoving. As the Miners are going to celebrate. That's going to do it, U13A champs, Place Bay Miners. Final score, 5-2. to two. Final shots on goal, 29-17 to 17 in favor of the Miners. As they enjoy their celebration, that's going to do it for me here today. I hope everybody enjoyed the broadcast, five games. And again, we'll be back in action tomorrow morning. we got four more tomorrow. Mike Elliott signing off here with High Button Sports. We'll watch the players celebrate and shake hands. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in the morning.